Hello, Scott here from Scout American Motorman Robotics. Today we're going to look at a setup function of weight and gravity in our tool file. The tool file setup of weight and gravity is important to record these settings so that the robot knows what kind of a payload it is carrying. So we're going to start off with checking our teach pendant and we're going to make sure that we are in teach mode. Now that we're in teach mode, we're going to change our security setting. We need to be in at least editing for our security. So we're going to go to System Info, Security. We're going to select on the Operation Mode. The default comes up to Editing. We're going to select Editing. Then we're going to put in our password. The default password is eight zeros. You can either press the button eight times or press and hold the button until the field is full of asterisks. Then we're going to press the enter key and that'll put us into editing security level. Now we're going to go to our robot icon. And then we're going to select our tool icon. Once we've selected the tool icon, it's going to bring up the data of our standard tool. If you're working with multiple tools, you will have to utilize the page key to change to the different tool files. We only have the one standard tool, and we can see where we have our weight and gravity fields in our tool file. To calibrate these weights and gravities, we're going to go to our utility menu. And from our utility menu, we're going to select weight and gravity calibration. When we get to our weight and gravity calibration screen, we're going to see the first setting there is default to not consider. If you have a large payload on the upper arm of your robot, that's where the U-axis intersects the L-axis. If you have a valve bank or a heavy junction box or something up there, we will want to consider the payload on top of the robot. In our case, we don't have a payload, so we are going to choose not consider that. So once we've got our setting there for what we're doing, we have to press the servo on ready button. And our servo on ready will begin to flash. We're going to enable the servos with the three position enable switch on the back of the programming pendant. And we will press and hold the forward key. We see the first bullet, home, lights up. The robot is now in the home position for weight and gravity calibration. We release the forward key and then press and hold the forward key again. We see the fields start flashing and the bullets filling in as it's measuring the weight and gravity of the tool. You can see the robot axes moving, B and T. Now it has completed its weight and gravity calculation and it's given us the weight of our tool and its gravity forces in the X, Y, and Z elements. Now that I have this, this data available to me, I hit the register key and it asked me if I would like to write that data. And yes, I'm going to write the data. My servos drop out and it populates those fields for weight and gravity in my tool file. So my weight and gravity is set now. There's one more piece of data that's required, and that is the inertia forces. And you can see those on the right-hand side of the programming pendant. These inertia forces are calculated. If you need to set these inertia forces and you're not aware of the calculations, please email us at techsupport at motoman.com. This is weight and gravity calibration. Thank you.